Okay, here's the quick ham jack tour. WKB9 RPN station. I donated this nice all-in-one computer here, which is better improvement than the laptop that I had here before. And right now, this is the this is what I've been working on. KPC3, getting all the levels adjusted. And this is an ICOM 2100 2 meter. And it's on 145030, running regular packet. Um, WT9M-1 is the, the call. Should be for the mailbox. Right now I'm connected to Ken and lacrosse. Let me disconnect from him. I'm, I'm just using a regular dumb terminal program right now. There's a better program I can get. I haven't put it on this computer yet. There, I'm disconnected from him. So anyway, it's all working. That's what I've been working up on this gray day in Barroqua. Okay, I, Ken, I think I got things adjusted pretty well now. Um, let's do... Uh, Let's do this help thing. See how it flow how it flows here. I need two hands to type this. Well that's going pretty good now. What I did was I I have um Equalization off, just one jumper. Um, jumper three I got in both. And I turned the CD software off. That seems to be working better. So I have it just adjusted with the squelch. I don't know why, but it's working real well now. So we'll leave well enough alone here. Anyway, here's the packet box, 2100. I made a video the other day about packet at the KB9 RPN station. And I didn't really explain what it is for anybody that doesn't know. We were using it back in the early 1990s before internet was really a thing. And it, it sends text at 1200 baud on the radio so there's no internet involved um, 1200 baud is slow compared to the internet now but it's pretty much faster than you know as fast as you could keep up typing and you can't it's limited you can't send pictures on it or anything high bandwidth like that but for texting just text it works good um, so this program here is better than what I was using in the uh, video I'm going to show but I can connect right now I'm at home I can connect to the mailbox at um, the station up in Viroqua and you can hear the packets going and here I have one message that's the mailbox inside in the uh, TNC at the radio station which I showed and if I want to uh, See who sent me a message. I just go read mine RM, or I could just list. This is how the old mailbox worked. You can list it. I send that, and it should show me. It's taking a couple tries there. Um. There, so I got a message here from uh, W9GM and tells when he sent it. So if I want to read it, I could read message 269 or I can just do RM. RM for read mine. Let's see what Ken had to say. Um, what did he say here?
Okay, yeah, he's just responding to something I said. He was asking me about um, how to disconnect from a remote, so no big deal. If I want to delete this message, I just do um, kill mine or kill the message number, and that'll, that'll erase it. It erased both messages that were in there. But anyway, that's how Packet works for... Um, for this old-fashioned stuff, it works pretty good. Our equipment's, you know, my these TNCs are pretty old. Here's the one at home here. I have an old radio, and here's the same kind of KPC3. And um, shows I'm still connected to the station up there in Viroqua. If I do a disconnect, it'll disconnect it. And I can mute those, uh, those audio sounds of the packet burst, but... Um, they're on right now just so I can monitor them. So I'll do a disconnect here. If I want to connect to um, uh, somewhere else, I can go to this node. This is the node. It has like a, um, a node built into those KPC3s too. So now I'm connected to that in Viroqua. And I want to connect to the node in Watoka, Minnesota which is W09E-7. So I'll connect to that. And if it connects, it should come back and tell me. Every once in a while it doesn't work for some reason. Conditions, oh, oh there, it connected. Or if there's a lot of other traffic on, this, on the network, it might not hear my station too well. So, this is Viroqua. Viroqua's connecting to Watoka. See, it's in Watoka. It's run by the Winona, Minnesota Ham Radio Club. And now if I want to use that to connect to Ken in La Crosse, I can just do this. I'll just connect to Ken now. And that'll go to his mailbox and he's got something fancier than I, I don't really understand the system it's it's more modern up to date um, not sure how it works but he does use a TNC I think so there I'm in Ken's mailbox now so if I want to send a message I just go um, S W and 9 GM I do this and then his station comes back and says enter the title I'll just do test because it's hard to type here with holding the camera in one hand and then that's gonna fill the title in on his message and then I can put in a message. I'll just put testing because it's easy to type here with one hand. Now it says uh, to end the message I can do control Z or slash EX. Um, so I'll do slash EX on a, a single line and that'll tell them that the message is done. There, see? So the message is done there, and I can list it. I'll do L for list. Now Ken Station is hooked up to HF and all kinds of stuff, and he has a lot of... There'll be a lot of messages in his system. You'll have to ask, we'll have to get him to make a video how it all works. But, um... It should come back with a list here pretty soon. And you know it's going so it's it's going to there this is the station this is the one I just sent. And these are other ones in his system. I don't know where they all come from or how they get there. We have to ask him that. I think he has HF hooked up on packet too. 
So I'm just going to um, disconnect disconnect from a, his station. That will disconnect from all the other nodes in between. And um, so packet, packet is error free. So this is a disconnect here showing that it disconnected. But um, packet's considered error free. So it sends like a, a sentence and then when it's going through the node or the other TNC will come back and say, I received that, send the next one. And if it had like three messages, it'd say, I received the first one, I didn't receive the second one, resend it. And then it's going to say, um, resend it. And then my station would resend it until the, until the other one gets it right. So it's error free. But it can, um, there's a lot of other stations on it can, they can collide and stuff. And so it's not totally smooth sometimes but it gets through and um, then when you send a disconnect it disconnects them all so that's how it's error free communications anyway that's that's how packet works so I just thought I'd put this on on the front or the end of the other video I'm making to just kind of explain what packet is to anybody who hasn't used it since 1990